Excuse me. Yeah. I came here as soon as I could. Warren told us everything. What do you mean, everything? Everything. That's what I said. That's what I meant. Everything. What Augustus trying to say is that Warren's confessed. He's confessed to the robbery. I'm sorry. You sit down. <gasps> Sophia, we want you to know how much we appreciate what you've done. And especially the fact that you didn't go to the police. Yeah, I'd really like to know why you have a sudden compassion. Maybe because I understand why he did what he did, Augustus. And I'm sure you'll gladly tell us. Augustus, would you open your eyes? He's a confused young man, and he has been for some time. Since when are you an expert? Maybe Sophia has a different perspective. Warren feels left out. He feels pushed out of his own family, and I do understand that feeling. I also feel like I am partly responsible for his feeling that because I am one of the reasons the two of you divorced. The divorce was very hard on him, whether he's told you or not, he's told me. Oh, yes. And then there's Brick. The fact that Brick is Lionel's son was a terrible shock to Warren, so now he's feeling uncertain. And he's feeling insecure. What he did was not merely someone who wanted money. It was a psychological act of desperation. And you don't send someone like that to prison. Truthfully, I, I, I had no idea it was that serious. Well, we'd all just better hope that Cece doesn't find out. Cece thinks that I gave Warren the money. I let him think that. Which means that he thinks that you and I are in league again. I'm so sorry. I can only tell you, we'll, we'll try to make it all come out right. Excuse me, please. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. So, were you shocked? Shocked that you wanted to see me? Shocked, yes. And surprised and very suspicious. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, I had to offer you an apology for running last night. I realized now I was mistaken. You didn't give the money to Warren, and I jumped stupidly to the wrong conclusion, and I'm sorry about it. Well, then maybe you'll try to understand my point of view, Cece. That feeding this feud is absolutely ridiculous. I would like so much if we could all try to live in harmony. It's not impossible, you know. You think not, do you? Not if you could be a little less rigid. Oh, Sophia, please. Considering how much disharmony you have been involved in. All right, if you're going to start talking to me like this, I'm not going to sit here and listen. <laughs> I'm not going to talk like this. You're being a very naive if you think the cat dwellers and the lockages can coexist peacefully. Sissy, anything is possible if you really want it and you don't. Oh, no, I'm afraid not, Dave. You see, the corner cliche, this is um, a feud to the finish. One of us is going to crush the other. I'm not about to turn my back for a second. And I feel I should take the initiative and everything. That's really no way to find peace, is it, Susie? Oh, but do me a favor. Let's forget about all this peace for a minute, and let's talk about the children. You give a lot of uh, importance to how much you love them. I would like to know something. I would like to know what kind of sacrifices you would make for them. What kind of test is this? Please, just ask the question. Hmm? I think you know the answer to that question. I'd do almost anything for my children. I think you would, too, wouldn't you? I said, what? My children are the priority of my life. As I suspected, it's for most parents. He said, they are the hostages to fortune. Wouldn't you say? Is there a point to this, or are you just rambling? Oh, there is a point. Could we get to it, please? You could, a little bit later. Because right now, I've got something to take care of. Would you excuse me for a minute? 